It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. We thought the old place was loud. Somehow this place got even louder a short time ago as the Falcons were introduced to this sellout crowd. We're set to go as the Falcons get ready to match up with the Washington football team. The Falcons. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Their own 26-yard line. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Gurley, the ball carry. Next receivers don't spread the defense out. They were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the shotgun, Ryan looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller, and he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. by Washington. They'll take over first and 10 at the 33. After the interception, here's Smith. And a sideline pass that's caught by Thomas. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Three yards the game there, second down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Throwing is Smith. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. Smith's pass. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Five men in the secondary now for the Falcons on third down. Out of the gun, Smith. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball three, and it's fourth down. I don't see Morgan trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. And Ron Rivera, he's going to keep the offense on the field. They're going for it. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. So he needed one. He ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running because oftentimes a running back could get too greedy. Trying to hit the home run on a play where you just need a few yards. Well done there, making sure you got the first down and not worrying about trying to get a touchdown. Right back to him on first down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the gun, here's Smith. He'll go underneath with this one to McKissick. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that have to be pinpoint here. Well, as I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. 
Now they just want to see if they can cap it. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. Second down and goal. Smith. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Logan Thomas there to make the grab. And Washington has taken a first quarter lead. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack in the previous play, that just hurts those guys because they never want to see their guy get hit. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. Makes this Washington seven, Falcons nothing. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Here's Powell on the return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunity. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. Montez Sweat. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Another try after the first down sack. Ryan, he completes this to Russell Gage. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. From the gun on third down, Ryan throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. complete they didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Hunter Sterling Hoffrichter out now on fourth down. Steven Sims set to return it for Washington. Taken in at the 22. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, 
then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Incomplete on the throwaway. It's third down and eight yards to go. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. A shotgun snap for Smith. Catch here, left side, Thomas. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. A well-hit ball there, 50 yards on the punt, three on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. And three and out on the last drive, no points on the scoreboard. A little soul-searching now? I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots, but what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. And yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get get through contact or trash makes it a lot easier to stay upright see the field and make a run as we just saw there and he's gonna have the hook up to gauge and they're able to get this one across the 35 it's a first down on a gain of 10. that was a nicely run slant route and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Ryan's throw caught by Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Ryan. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. The screen was executed and completed, but where's the worry on the play? How many times is a quarterback going to get hit? Because offensive linemen have to do an acting job of making sure it looks like they're whiffing on blocks. But you got to slow them down a little bit, because if you don't, that's a lot of big guys coming at your quarterback in a big, fast way. And boy, he can get hurt. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 28, 12 yards there and a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 12, second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second and three from the nine. Throwing.
going again. Ryan. This will be caught just inside the 10. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. 53. Check. 53. Ryan will throw again. Strong coverage by Washington. And now fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And we'll see Young Way Koo now for the Falcons. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points. Not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And what we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it, because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. over to their D. Danny Johnson returning. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. On first and ten, Smith over the middle, and it's incomplete. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas, and that'll bring up second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So now they'll come up on second and ten, once again from the 28. Right there, 54, right there, right there. To throw again, Smith. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Tyler Davison hauling it off the edge to sack him. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again, and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. So we reach intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. 
And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. It's a gain of nine yards. And that's going to lead to a third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big. But in the end, give some credit to the defense finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Here's Smith. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Here's Tressway now as he'll punt it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Well, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. On first down, it's Gurley. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Out of the gun. It's Ryan. That slant to Jones able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Here's Gurley. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Jonathan How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Now on second and 13, Ryan. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Off the edge, the sack by Matt Ioannidis. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Going for the deep ball. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. The Falcons send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. The throw taken in by Sims. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket 
that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, they move, and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary. And I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. 13 yards remaining on second down. From the gun, Smith. This one complete to Kelvin Harmon. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked into the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Throwing on third down, Smith. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. The third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted Spotted at the 14-yard line. Atlanta prepped and readied for its next possession. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A well-executed 22-yard game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. This pass into the hands of the running back, Todd Gurley. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. It's a gain of six. Makes it third and four. The Falcons on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. And the Washington pressure gets to him, and he will go down. Montez Sweat picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. It's a 40-yard punt, four yards on the return. And Washington going to come back out here to take over offensively. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage how would you say it? Consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs. And the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, not much there that time. And I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he just throw the ball away and he.
Only picking up a yard or two. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. A run here for J.D. McKissick. Not much room to run. Just gets it to the 35 after showcasing his tough running. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Operating from the gun. Smith over the middle. Open is Thomas. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Coming up on a second and six. Get ready, get ready. And again, this time to the tailback. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. It's Gibson, and he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Take a knee. They'll run with McKissick. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeroes. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, did it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everybody.